are because they're from the city, but really not because they're not going to Camden, Camden, uh, Camden High School with Joe Wilson. And they sometimes are worse than those students because they play a role that they're only acting and sometimes they exaggerate. And, and, and Mr. Bowling, he has a very difficult job. But um, I'm sorry. One of the things I think is important for us to do is reach out to uh, current students or former students of Camden County College GED program, Genesis, Camden Youth Bill, and also the work group and have some of those students talk to us about what to expect, because they were on the other side at one point, to find out what encouraged them to go to school, because most of those programs, or really all of them, most of, most of the students who attend there are voluntary students. Some of them are there because of parole or probation, but they can come and tell us from the street level exactly what to expect. And I would even welcome some students to be a part of not only the movement, but also a part of the organization as well. Uh, because they can bring a raw street type of knowledge and expectation to the program and it make, us, make it easy for us to navigate um, in the streets and also deal with the people who we expect them uh, to reach. So I think that's very important. And as far as the loan uh, part, similar to what you were mentioning, I tell students that is your last resort. However, if you are in debt, $60,000 at the end of your educational experience, and you make $60,000 a year for the next 20 years, that is a wonderful investment. You know, that's 120th, and you can break it down into percentages, uh, decimals, uh, but you can explain to them that you cannot go to school, um, have a menial job, uh, and be in debt anyway because you have to get a car, you have to get a house or apartment, and you want nice things. So you may get a personal loan or credit card, and you point it at the things that you don't necessarily get back in investment. Because a car, you talked about rims. People may spend the $3,000 on rims or a car, but once you drive that off the lot, hundreds of dollars are not <coughs> off the, 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 uh, the, the price of the car if you want to if you want to resell it. Uh, however, you are an investment. And like Mr. Bowen was mentioning, you are the investment that you only not only get an education, but you have to work to get a job so you can earn the money. Because if you have you work in a little bit of a uh, little bit of hours at a medium job, you're going to have a lot of debt anyway. And it's best to pour that money or get quote unquote free money up front that you have to pay back when you're able to. In addition to. Uh, paying for the things that you you enjoy doing, but again, I'll, I'll if you like, I can assist and talk to individuals, and we can have representatives from uh, YUL come out uh, to the different GD programs to try to encourage students, because some students also get field pay for doing various things up above and beyond getting a GD, whether it be construction and so forth. So they can get field pay for coming out and volunteering with the program, and also just encouraging them come out as well, so I would encourage you to bring um, those young people aboard.